Hi everyone, today I want to show you how to add one of Neo4j's model context protocol servers to GitHub Copilot running in Visual Studio Code. One thing to note is the MCP server support doesn't work yet in the general build of Visual Studio Code, at least at the time of this recording, but it does work with Visual Studio Code Insiders. It's basically the beta or preview version of Visual Studio Code. Now, the great thing is you can run Visual Studio Code Insiders alongside the normal uh, general Visual Studio Code build. Okay, so once you install this and get it running, that's kind of step one. Step two is you need to enable GitHub Copilot. There are a couple ways to do this. Easiest is when you first launch Visual Studio Code Insiders. In the GUI, there is an option for enabling GitHub Copilot. Otherwise, you can add it through the extensions uh, tab. And lastly, you can also add it by going to your GitHub profile page in a browser, log in, and there will be an option in your settings to enable GitHub Copilot. Now, there are several ways to add MCP server configurations to Visual Studio Code. First is by adding it to an individual project or the workspace. Next, you can add it globally through the user settings, which means it'll become available or those servers will become available to all your different projects. Next, we have the command line interface option, which allows you to add MCP configurations to Visual Studio Code, but not yet able to list or delete from the command line. Last, we have automatic discovery, which allows you to pull in MCP configurations from other tools like Claude or Cursor. So I'm going to start off by showing how to add a configuration to a single workspace. So when you open up Visual Studio Code Insiders, the first thing you want to do is create a new folder, a hidden folder called .vs code, and then in there, add in a file uh, mcp.json. From here, the easiest thing to do is to just go to any browser and go to the PyPy entry for mcp-neo4j-cipher. So when you come to the PyPy entry for the server, just scroll down and you'll see a example configuration here. Just copy this and we are going to add it to the mcp.json file. One thing you will immediately notice is the naming configuration is slightly different than in some other tools. All right, so first thing we're going to do is bring this out a little bit is instead of MCP servers, I'm just going to rename this to just servers. And the rest is just fine. Here, I'm going to grab configuration for a Neo4j Aura database uh, that has a read only option. So I'm just going to copy and paste the credentials from a credentials file here. Now these credentials are for a Star Wars related database since we are coming up to May the 4th. Once you've configured this in the mcp.json file, just click on the add server button down on the lower right. Here we will choose the uh, st standard out option and just press enter. So once you've added the server, you do need to save the file uh, for this mini start button to appear in the servers. Once you see it, you just click on it to go to my chat now. So here, now I can just ask, you know, like how many systems are in my database. And here I'm just checking to see that uh, the MCP server is actually running. So GitHub Copilot is currently in the ask mode, so it will just give me, uh, you know, kind of an answer like you would normally. So if you go down here, there's an ask drop down, change this to agent. So I'm gonna ask the same question here. How many systems are in my database? Here looks promising. I'll just click continue. Uh, just to make this easier, I'm just gonna have this uh, continue running all the time in my works. Okay, so I'm gonna delete all that and then show you how to add the configuration to user settings. Let's go up to code insiders, settings, settings, and make sure you're on the users tab. It just type in MCP. MCP should be the first thing that shows up. Click edit settings.json file. Now, if you have other user settings, you'll have a bunch of other entries, but just look for the MCP uh, key. And then you'll see you've got two arguments here, inputs and servers. Servers is where you can just copy and paste from the PyPy readme entry. I'll paste here. I'm going to remove the outer entry for MCP servers. Let's do a little cleanup here. Okay, so let me 
Now when I save this, it should allow this start option to appear. And I can click start. Then I will open up a chat window again. Is there a system named Alderon? Now, can I spell Alderon correctly? And we'll run this for the workspace. Okay, so that's how to add it to user settings. Now, if you want to remove it from user settings, just go back to user settings. I'm going to stop the server and delete this entry. Save. Next, let's go through the command line interface option. All right, so we're going to open up a terminal. And the command for adding in an MCP server through the command line is just code insiders dash dash add dash MCP. And then the next part is you need to put a stringified version of the JSON object that we had done before. Okay, so this is kind of what uh, it needs to look like, All right? You need a name and name of the server, you know, 4J Aura. Need the command. Args and environment variables. Okay, so this is the general dictionary format that you need for adding in an MCP server through the command line. So I stringified a version of the configuration already. So I'm just gonna paste that in here. Run. You can see here added MCP servers. And now if I were to actually go to settings, you can see here it was added in the user settings with the configuration added here. And same as before, if you wanna run this, just click the start button, then run a chat window. All right, this time we'll just ask for all the systems that start with the letter C. Okay, so we can see there's quite a few systems that start with the letter C. Also, if you're curious to know what Cypher Query Copilot went with, you can just click on this uh, disclosure triangle and it will display the query that it ran. I'm gonna stop this and delete this entry again so I can show you the last option, which is auto discovery, which again is a feature in Visual Studio Code that allows you to pull in the MCP configuration from other tools like Claude, Cursor, or Winsor. The easiest way to run auto discovery is through the chat interface. And I'm gonna bring that up again, but this time you're gonna use the hotkey. So that's going to be control command I. And here on the bottom here, let's make this a little bigger. When you're in the agent mode, you've got this uh, database icon, which is an option. So this is not available in the ask mode, but it is an agent. So just click on this icon. And here, first thing Visual Studio Code is ask you if you trust the other AI tool that you want to pull the configuration from. Here, I do trust Claude, so I'm going to click yes. Yes. Just going to trust Windsurf as well. And to double check if you are connected to another Neo4j MCP instance, you can click on the config button here. And if you scroll down, you can see which MCP servers from what tools are connected. Now, the other servers are not connected to this Star Wars database. They're connected to, I believe, a local instance. So just to simplify, you can turn off the various ones. Uh, otherwise, I would recommend actually naming all the Neo4j databases uh, better. Now that we know we can interface with the Neo4j database, now we're going to ask GitHub Copilot to actually write some code to interface with that data. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is spin up a new project here. Maybe add a new 4J. I'm gonna replace this file here. All right, write a script to find the shortest path between two systems via a connected to relationships path. Okay. I need to take a step back here. 
Oh, good. It's already figuring out that it needs to check the schema first. And then build the script. Well, let's give that a go. Great. Okay. All right, so I'm going to update this with the credentials we have for the Star Wars database. And we'll change this to read only and read only. Start an AB. So, yeah, two systems. Let's do Alderaan and. Oh, best bench, sure, why not? Let's try running this. UV run main.py. So what might be more interesting is to to probably print out the actual list of all the, the systems that we go from Alderaan to Bespin. So to modify this, we will change this to, oh, here we go, no known path. And that should name, that should list out every single system. All right. And so we need to update the output here. So instead of outputting these path objects, we're going to output uh, the name of the nodes. Actually, it could just be the records because uh, we are calling them jumps. Yeah, let's just print the record. Yep, so here are all the systems to, to get from Alderaan to Bespin. Should have probably chose two systems that were closer together. Okay, and those are various different ways that you can add Neo4j's Cypher MCP server to GitHub Copilot on Visual Studio Code, namely the Visual Studio Code Insiders Edition. My name is Jason Koo. Happy coding, good luck, and I'll see you in the next one.